Injured in a motor vehicle accident? Call Robert C. Allen, an experienced lawyer prepared to confront insurance companies and negligent drivers. Attorney Allen brings 30 plus years of strong representation to obtain the settlement you deserve. Call Robert C. Allen at 850-438-6800 for a free consultation. That's 850-438-6800 or visit www.robertcallen.com. Watch the Ask Robert C. Allen show on WBQP TV, Pensacola Speaks on Blab TV and follow him on all social media platforms. Injured in a motor vehicle accident? Call Robert C. Allen. Hello, hello. Welcome to another edition of Broke by Choice. I am the vendor, Shedrick Williams. And I am the board of and we are here because we have been broke by choice. What the heck is broke by choice, you might be asking. Wow. I know. Wow. Well, you're looking at two people right here who chose to be broke by choice. We both have talents and gifts, skills, and I guess you could say we're too lazy to want to use them. You know, just to initiate how to go get the bag. Yeah. Okay. I say lazy, you say <laughs> <laughs> whatever the case may be. Fear of failure, fear of success, success. Yeah. Um, fear of rejection, of not getting support from family and friends. Um, it could be anything. If you fit in that category, you are broke by choice. So hopefully as we share a few things we can stir up the gift in you to put those talents and gifts and skills and make them uh, to use to make them profitable. Plan your season. Plan your season. Plan your season. This is your season. So if you're watching, it's not by accident. We're getting ready to make a profit. Okay. Today we are going to talk about Shedrick Studio. Uh, divorce business and how you can benefit if you have a non-profit organization or profit or profit um, and before we start I just have to point out this beautiful piece behind us um, Ta -da! it's one of my favorite pieces from her umbrella series and I just love it and this is just a taste of what you're going to see today. So a piece like this, um, a piece like that, that is actually a 24 by 48 painting. Well, this is a declay of the original painting. So I do offer reproductions of original pieces that I've done. And this piece was actually born from a piece called Diva's Reign. So I actually had, um, let me step up here, only these three, only these three images in the Divas Reign, and I needed to um, extend this, what should I say, um, series out. So I added the rest of it. The rest of it. Actually, these are duplicated with two little girls in between and now I had a whole new image. So actually, the deepest rain is on the cover of one of the, my books as a writer called When All Hell Breaks Loose. So just this part right here, from this part over, is the cover of that book. So if you have a, a book you're working on and you want it to be covered with some beautiful art, you can do what I did and contact Deborah Shedrick. Her name is at the bottom, scrolling down. But we're here today specifically to talk about how your nonprofit or for-profit organization can uh, 
Yeah, we can partner up. Yeah. And we can actually sell art right. to help your organization move raise forward. money, yeah. move forward. Yeah, so nonprofits have a challenging time finding creative ways to raise funds, and art uh, is one of the top ways auctions. Uh, not specifically art, but art options are Deborah's way of bringing something different, an elegant um, event, um, just high class, just classy, something different to bring your guests together to look at art, to auction, and it's beautiful color. So, you know, have a fun evening, an educational evening. Yeah. And a fun raising evening. Yeah. So it doesn't have to be just the auction. This one piece and some other pieces that she will show mm -hmm. can be a raffle. Yes. You can raffle off an original. Yes. You can sell prints. Yes. That, and you would just have to contact Deborah mm -hmm. and find out the different ways how a piece of art can bring you income in different ways. So, so I'll take. Um, your company will get together and decide what your goals are. I will paint a beautiful piece of art just for your organization. It will be given to you from me, no charge for you, to raffle that piece off. Um, I've had one person decide to keep the piece in their main um, building. Mm -hmm. You know, so so what they do with it is on there. Yeah, so it's completely up to you. It's a easy way for you to get started without having a lot of started. The fees. thought of how am I going to get money at the right. start is I'm giving it to you, so you won't have that problem. So you are giving an original piece of art that can be worth well over $10,000. Okay, let's just role play here. Okay, I'm an organization and I just started my organization maybe three, four years ago. Look, Liam, I, I have this organization and I heard that you could probably help me raise some money. I am just running out of ideas. I'm pulling at my hair. I need something creative and something doable. I don't have a big board, it's just a handful of us, and we really don't have any money. How can you help us? First of all, I'm going to start by giving, giving you something to start your fundraising with. And let's just play well. This is what I'm giving you. You're going to give my I'm organization give this. And this is worth this piece right here, the original. $7,000. You're going to give me a 7000 piece of art to start with. To start okay. With. So is this mine? It belongs to my organization? It is yours. Okay. It is yours. So how do I turn this into money? I would advise you to raffle it. Uh, you can hang it in your office and sell prints from it, but I am the owner of the prints. So the prints have to come through me. But any money you get from raffling this is 100% your organization money. Okay, you guys listen. So you are giving my organization this piece. Giving it. You suggested that I can have a raffle. Yes. I can raffle off this original piece of art that was gifted to my organization and I can raffle, sell the raffle tickets for whatever, $20, 25 People get so excited when they know they can spend $20 or $25 to own an original piece of art. <laughs> and if you all know what original is, for, for those of you who are not um, knowledgeable of original to clay print, an original is just what it says. One of a kind. One of a kind. So she will paint a piece specifically for your organization. Mm -hmm. That piece that she actually painted on 
is the original piece that she is gifting to you. I'm gifting your organization. She can take that piece of art and make prints from it, which is called jaclades or prints, yes. depending on the process. Yes. So you have your original, you will have prints have, that you can make money from. But that original piece, that's that's huge. I have gifted that. That she has image. gifted. Who is giving away an original piece of art worth thousands of dollars? Most artists want a piece of the profit. The profit that she gets is off of the prints. Yes. Not the original piece that you're selling raffles for, but the prints. Meaning 50 people can have a copy, a copy of the original piece of art. Stay with us now. Stay with us. So do you want to share some more of your art pieces? You have some pieces to show just to give them an example of yeah. what you do. These are random pieces. The first pieces that I'm showing are dated pieces. So like this piece was done in 94. But they're in my my private collection. So this is, I can tell by the paper, this is an original. Original. This is an original piece. Can you guys see that? Original piece. I like that. I love your colors. Here's another original. And we're going to go through these pretty quickly. So this is just to give you an idea of her, of Deborah's work, Shedrick Studio. I love this piece. Her colors are uh, I don't know what the word is for it. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. This is another original piece. And you would get the piece, would it be framed? Or uh, the piece will be on canvas, it won't be framed, but it will be ready okay. to hang. So on canvas, it's like this, a canvas ready to These are on paper. Okay, these are on paper. I love it. It's an uh, organization that's based off of uh, the arts, music. She can do music pieces, she can do Whatever your vision is, she will create a piece of art specifically for your fundraising. Can you see that face? The colors are just, uh, what's the word? I don't know what the word is. What's the word for um, something that will bring you in? Eye-catching, eye-stopping, vivid. Beautiful, beautiful. If you have a church, um, you want to sell prints, a prayer group, uh, whatever your ministry is, the type of art that she will uh, create for your organization will come from your vision or whatever the thing is for your event. I love this piece. I simply love this piece. Okay, Deborah, how did you come up with this piece here? Okay, um, I have a thousand images in my head. I just randomly pick, <laughs> pick a subject out. You know, I lay the, I lay the colors and then I try to find an image within those colors. There is no, I follow my spirit, there is no um, rhyme or reason. I can't write down, okay, number one, this is what I do first, number two, this is what I do. It's all um, led by the spirit. Now, can you imagine her being broke by choice, having all of this in her uh, spirit, and when she finally decided to say, okay, let me do something with this. And you've been painting for what, over 30 something years? Yes, yes. Um, maybe 36 years. Wow, yeah. wow. And the idea for the nonprofits actually came from 
the Tom Joyner Foundation. Yes, I can't take credit for this. All the past um, years he's done wow. the cruise. Wow. And, you know, it's so successful. So I have to give credit to Tom Joyner because um, this idea actually started with him and me tapping into what he does to bring it to other organizations. So Tom Joyner is not just a radio personality that he is well known for. He also has a foundation that he raises money for, for HBCU. Students attending HBCUs get scholarships. Get scholarship money from the Tom Joyner Foundation. And you assist him on these cruises and you've been invited to several yes, yes, cruises. Yes. So listen to me. Listen to me, if you have an organization and you need to raise funds, mm -hmm. Deborah Shedrick is just one artist that Tom Joyner sought out on several occasions to appear on his cruise because her art brings in money. Yes. Now, if you have an organization and you have an idea in your head, Deborah Shedrick Studio has a suggested plan that is guaranteed to make money. So you have to listen to her. You can't say, okay, well, I want to use your art and do this and do this. You know, the fundraiser has a, a way, a structured plan, a structured plan, plan to help you, to help you raise, raise money. Yeah. money. Yeah. So you can have your own ideas, but it probably won't be as successful if you go by the plan that was originated, the idea came from the Tom Joyner Foundation. So, and that's not the only company organization that you've assisted. You've assisted several yes. organizations in different cities, in different states. It doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter what state you live in. She does not have to be there. The art can be sent to you. If you want her to appear, then there's an extra cost that she'll talk to you about it. Yes. Now, I'm excited. I, I, you all, I love Shedrick Studio art. I love it. It's the only art. I think I have maybe one from Ronnie uh, Phillips. <laughs> Shout out, Ronnie. <laughs> one of his pieces oh, in my God. home. But I love your art speaks. The color is just, I can't say enough about uh, the, This is beautiful. Beautiful. And this Beautiful. is another language that your company will speak to your community. Yes. You yes. Know, we have to depend on your community because I know they've been supporting you and they would love to support you in this manner also. So their donor list. If you have a donor list, um, those are the people that you want to begin with, those who have supported you in the past, uh, however many years you've been in business. But you also want to reach out to others who may be interested in art and art auction and we can do a gallery um, that would be with the raffle and i would come in and give you a gallery of art and you can sell different pieces like an art show uh -huh. and we can do that same thing online also so, okay. so there's a lot of ways for you to bring in the funds for your organization. Okay, so it can be an online auction. Yeah. Okay, you looking for it? Yeah, let's show this. These are the clays that I'm getting ready to show now, and it's another form of printing from the original. But this is a reproduction of the original. Okay, and so, so this is a jaclay. Jaclay. Okay, so she took the original piece and Had it professionally photographed. Okay. And a decay, you can only run one print at a time. So, so I was not like putting it through a copy machine. Not it's like much it. more high quality than that. Yeah, because the ink actually is um, cool. yeah. spit out on the paper. And I will sign each one as it's printed out. So it'll be a limited edition with my signature. And that's a jaclet. Yeah. And prints are just a step. It's I like running it on a, um, a machine. Yeah, I was going to say Xerox machine. Zero. All copy machines aren't Xerox machines. Right. But that's yeah. true. Yeah. So you got the original, you got the jaclets, and you have the prints. Yeah. 
This is exciting to me because I know what it's like for a company to need money. I don't have a nonprofit organization, but I have a company, um, Shedrick Studio, and her and a few of her fundraisers, and I have seen the process, and they are the most elegant events um, that I've ever seen for a fundraiser. You know, usually you sit down at a dinner, you got somebody talking, and then you go around the room and do your art auction, but with yours, you don't even have to spend money on a dinner. You can have just light hors d'oeuvres, yeah. some jazz music playing in the background, because the art is what the people are coming to see. So it's a different atmosphere. So this is a jacle, and we're going to show a couple more, and that will be the end of our art presentation. Angel, now your angel series are very popular. Now, you had a special on these not too long ago um, for, now this is a jacle. Is this a jacle? Correct. Okay. This is a jacle. We're going to give a test one, one of these weeks on what the difference in a uh, original, a jacle, and a print is, and maybe the winner who defines what those are can win something. <laughs> So you're getting a little education <laughs> on art. Original, jaclays, and print. Yeah, this we'll have a definition printed online. What is this piece called? That's angel number one. I did three in that series, and that was the first one I did. That's beautiful. Yeah, thank you. Beautiful. This is it. Yeah, you want to go ahead and show that? And our last one. That's a little girl looking out the window of the people passing on a sidewalk with their umbrellas. I love umbrella scenes. Oh, umbrellas. Yes. That's like my calling card. I have an umbrella for you. Can you guys see that? Okay, I'm going just a little bit closer. Little girl looking out the window and the umbrellas. I like the whole concept. The reason I chose your umbrella series for my uh, book cover, When All Hell Breaks Loose, is because of the covering. It's the symbolism of the umbrella for me. The whole covering. Covering, protection. That's beautiful. So yeah. I actually have this piece in my home. And when I look at it every day, I can see it when I walk through my door. It reminds me that no matter what I'm going through, no matter what the weather is, no matter what spiritual storms I may be going through, I'm covered. Yes. I'm covered. And each person has their own poise. That's what I love about this. Each woman has her own poise. So how you deal with your storm, I go, I can go there with this. I can just take her art every piece. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, and we all see something different, but her art definitely speaks. And it's a conversation piece no matter where you are. Yeah. So it's not a boring event, the uh, auctions. It, they are conversation yes. pieces. Conversation pieces, something a little different. So let me take your organization's purpose or plan and develop an art piece from it. And I present that to you. That is my ministry. And we go from there to get you up and running. Thank you so much. What makes you, we got two more minutes. What makes you give an original uh, seven, eight, nine, ten thousand piece of art away? Um, I think I've been put on this earth to share. That's my way of sharing what was given to me. You know, I can't hoard this. It was, it's my gift, and gifts are for giving, and that's it. It's yeah. that simple. It is, and it always comes back to you. Always. So, always. you have been giving 
for a long time helping nonprofit organizations. So to be one of the artists that are asked by Tom Joyner, how many artists would love to be invited? Now, a lot of people come on that cruise, yes. and they that's exposure for your art. Yes, and they are, when you walk into to the room of the auction and see all those people waiting for you and waiting to be wow. on the art, that is like a feeling that I can't even describe. It's great. It's wow. Great. Yeah. So you actually have some of your art in hotels also. I do. <laughs> um, See, this is the whole broke by choice. <laughs> that, I, that I was sharing. This is the whole broke by choice. Uh, you have to know your worth. You have to know your worth. And a lot of times, it's hard for you to see the worth of your art, whatever your craft is. And to tell you the truth, um, the owner of these hotels, Michael Roberts, was at the um, convention center. Um, um, I forget what convention it was, but someone told me he had, had some hotels. And my son was in college, and I had to come up with his next tuition. And he was in a private college studying art, but, you know, it wasn't free. And I had to come up with that tuition for that that term. Wow. And that was one time where I had to step up to someone and open my mouth and tell them who I was and say a little prayer that, you know, he would listen. And he did, you know. It, it was that simple, but not that simple. Right. And, and sometimes it takes just opening your mouth. Yeah. And it was... Um, Three or four of his hotels um, in different states that I got to um, put my art in. So, yeah. depending on the state you're in, you look at the art, but your art is so different, they would know if it was oh, your yeah. art. Yeah. But you don't just do um, figures, you do some abstract I do work. A lot of abstract also. also. Yeah. 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 So, you guys, if you're interested in a creative fundraiser, a colorful fundraiser, a nice classy event for your organization, contact Deborah Shedrick. Her number's down there on the screen. And just talk to her. Ask questions that she may not have answered. You won't regret it. You won't regret it. And no. see how that can fit into your specific organization, your event. And you were talking about college. Man, that would be a fundraiser for a parent. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, look, I got to pay my child's tuition. How can you help me? Help a sister out. Help a sister like, I had never done hotels before, but it was like, you got to start somewhere, right? You got to start somewhere. Yeah. Okay, you guys, we are out of time. Thank you for joining us. Uh, again, Deborah Shedrick, a.k.a. Shedrick Studio. And you can also follow her on Facebook. Deborah Shedrick on Facebook and we'll be back again. We're going to keep sharing this because for whatever reason the influx of nonprofits needing to raise money, Shedrick Studio is going to be the go-to for fundraisers. So don't make a choice to be broke by choice and we will see you next week. Bye-bye. Peace.